This video will show you how to create a table of contents in a Microsoft Word document. Now this is something that can literally save you hours if you're working with a lengthy project like a syllabus or a research paper because it can update page numbers and things in that table of contents with a single click. It also makes things very nice and convenient for people who are reading your lengthy document because they can use the table of contents to jump straight to a certain portion of the document without scrolling through everything. Now, there are two parts to creating a table of contents in a Word document. The first is to set up your document with headings using the styles menu, and this is potentially the most unintuitive or tricky part of the process. Um, the second is actually creating the table of contents, and then once you have that done, you can make edits to it after the fact, and I'll show you all of those steps. Now, in this sample document, I'm going to first set up my headings using the styles menu. These will be the things that show up as links in my table of contents, as well as appearing as headings in the body of the document. Now, I'm on the Home tab here in Microsoft Word, and to create a heading, I simply highlight the text I want to turn into a heading. I go to the styles menu, and I select either heading one, two, three, or title, whatever is appropriate. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for this entire document. I have a title here. There's the title style. This is another heading one. This, because it's a subheading, I'm gonna make into a heading two. And then we have another heading one. Okay, now that I've done that, I can go ahead and create my table of contents. To do that, I click the mouse wherever I want the table of contents to appear, probably right at the top. And then in this version of Word, I go to the References tab, and here is the little table of contents area. Now, if you can't find the table of contents button in the References tab, you may have to dig around or do a little search, um, but this is where it is in this version, References, Table of Contents. And then from here, you can pick the style of table of contents you want. So if I scroll through, there's lots of different ways my table of contents can look. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the first one. And you can see it instantly creates a table of contents with my sections, and if I click on, let's say, where it says section four, it's gonna jump me right down to that portion of the document. So you can see already how this is gonna be really handy. But here's where it gets really, really powerful. I have just all of a sudden realized that this is section four, and I want it to be section three, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type section three. I'm just gonna change that text. And then I'm gonna insert a bunch of text to make this go to a new page. Let's say I realize that subheading A needs to be really long, so I just paste in a bunch of text. And now section, that last section, I've changed to section three, and it's on a new page. So here's where this table of contents tool is really powerful. If I click into it and click on this downward arrow, I can say update table. And it's gonna say, do you wanna update just the page numbers or the whole thing? I'm gonna say, for now, update the whole thing. And you can see instantly, this became section three and my page numbers changed. So if you have a document that keeps, like the formatting keeps changing and all of that, whenever you have that locked in or whenever you wanna update it, you can update the table of contents with one click and it's gonna tell you what page everything is on. Hopefully this will save you some time in your long Word document projects.